What is going on you guys, it is your boy Frog here coming back with another Clash Royale video and today we are doing something that is highly, highly requested in my comment section. You guys have been wanting me to push ladder on my channel for about a week now. I've seen a bunch of comments, hundreds and hundreds of comments asking me to push ladder again on my channel. So that is what we are doing today. We are going to be doing it with my classic mortar deck. As you guys know, two balance changes ago, they actually nerfed the skeletons. So I have taken out the skeletons for those two elixir goblins as I feel those two elixir goblins provide a lot of value for only being two elixir. So we are going to be using this deck. I'm going to go ahead and go straight into it. Going to show you my rank here. I'm currently 1,198th in the world. So without further ado guys, let's just go! Five minutes later. Right, so we are into our first game playing some guy called Akira. We'll see how we can do in this game. As you guys know, in my last video I said about me actually putting up a roast video where um you five of you guys make a roast video of me and then I will roast you all in a video and completely tear you up, allowing you to gain some exposure for your own channels and some exposure for even my channel. Gonna go ahead and rocket that. Yep, nicely done. Yes, our mortar's actually on the tar there. So if you want to participate in this, all you need to do is make a roast video on me, send it to me on either Twitter, Discord, or say something in my comment section, and I will actually look at your video, comment on it, and if I think that it's good enough, I will feature you and roast you on my own channel. So I hope you guys do want to do that and you do participate in this kind of like competition type thing. I think it'll, it'll be good to build a, a nice little community around my channel. And I think, it'll, I think it will help you guys a lot as well. So we're going to go ahead and put the archers down here. Uh, making, making good plays here. Kind of good plays I guess. Going to see if he puts anything down there with the bowler. If not, oh, I don't know if I want to rocket that, but I guess I'm going to have to anyway. I didn't really have any other counters to do. Oh, we're definitely logging that one archer and that tombstone. Yes, nice. So this guy has a really, really solid counter deck to our mortar deck, which is kind of annoying, not going to lie. So we might actually end up losing this game. Right, what am I going to do here? Uh, I want him to have, like, one more elixir than me so that he can place something before me, because I don't want to, I don't actually know what I want to place. And he has, oh yeah, there we go, that's good, that's good. So we're going to go ahead and put the mortar on the defense right now. As you guys do know, in the balance changes a couple days ago, the mortar did get buffed. And I am really, really liking the mortar at the minute. It is a really, really nice option. The buff wasn't too noticeable, in my opinion. Like, it wasn't, like, drastically noticeable uh, compared to, like, what people were trying to make it out to be. It wasn't really as good as people were thought or thought it was going to be. Which is, I guess that's okay for some people, but I was kind of disappointed, not going to lie. Going to get our knight down there. Oh, he dropped the bowler in the other side. There's no way. He actually dropped the bowler on the other side there, which is absolutely fantastic for us, if I do say so myself. Gonna go ahead and plop the rocket down to hit the giant and the bowler. As soon as the bowler locks onto our tar, I'm gonna put the goblins behind it. There we go, there's the goblins in there. We're still gonna lose that tar, but we are uh, we have got his tar down within one mortar shot of killing his tar, so that is pretty nice indeed. Megan, it was kind of a good comeback there, if I do say so myself. Hopefully that targets the tar. Yes, it does. Gonna put the archers down here. His bowler is probably gonna target our knight. Yes, it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and rocket that. And then I'm gonna put down the goblins right here. Oh, those got that was a bad that was a bad play actually, because he is gonna go ahead and do a lot of damage with the bowler and the knight. Gonna go ahead and log it all back. Hopefully that bowler only gets Oh no, we forgot! Wow! No, I actually forgot to take out his tar. Oh, wow. Okay, so that was a little bit of a screw up there in our first game. But who cares? Let's go straight into the second one. All right, guys. So we are playing another level 13 up here and around this trophy range at the minute. It's just packed out full of level 13s. As you guys know, I am only level 12, but I am so, so close to being level 13. I am so hyped. I cannot wait to be a level 13 on this game. Oh, the mortar shot. He's actually going to let the mortar actually get a shot off on his tar. Okay, so we're gonna ar or arrow. We're gonna uh, princess all of that. One minion getting a few hits off in our tar. Gonna put the goblins right there. It's gonna attract the knight over to the middle of the arena. Uh, getting some nice little damage off in the knight. The knight goes down. Guys, if you haven't liked the video already, make sure to hit that like button if you want to see me do more of these kinds of videos where I just push, I chill, I talk to you guys about the affairs, the recent affairs of YouTube and stuff like that. Have you guys seen? Um, Chan Sutton and Anthony Trigillo's uh, diss track on Rice Gum. It came out a few days ago, I do believe now. 
It was actually insane. I actually think it's such a such a good song. It's probably the best song that anyone out of Team 10 has made thus far, in my opinion. Oh wow, so this guy is going hard. Wait, is that gonna hit all of them? Yo, yes it does. Let's go. Gonna put the goblins down right there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't kill my princess, please. Oh, the princess just about got out right there. That was an amazing defense for us right there. Awesome. Right, so the princess is on the tar. Get another shot, princess. No, it's not going to happen, unfortunately. I'm going to get ready with my knight. I'm going to plop it here. Then, okay, so... Okay, so I'm going to get the fire spirits to go down. Boom, boom, boom. Really nice play by me again. Doing a really solid play here. A couple of really solid plays. Mortar on the tar. Yes, it is. He is annoyed right now. You can see it in the emoji you just put up there. Or the emo, as they call him. Oh, wow. So he's going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and rocket that pump. Hopefully, I get it before it gets one elixir. Yes, we actually did get it. Oh, my gosh. I went really quiet there. We get this tar down. That would be absolutely amazing. Cycle back to a mortar. He'll drop the peg and the three musks. We'll have the mortar, the princess. We'll have everything to defend against it. It'll be awesome. Going to put the princess down right there on the right side. Dropping it at the back because I know by the time it reaches about their half... He is going to be able to drop those three musketeers. There they are indeed. Then we're going to put down our um, mortar. And I'm going to go ahead and rock it. Oh, is that going to hit the... Yes, it is. It's going to hit the both of them right there. Awesome, awesome stuff right there. Awesome possum. Our princess did actually survive. Going to put the knight down here. Don't want any more of the uh, P.E.K.K.A. coming any closer, sorry, to our tar. Going to go ahead and fire spear all of that. And our princess is going to clear up right there with the combination of our archers. And that is going to be all she wrote for this game. Wrapping it up. 10 seconds left on this battle. Easy, easy Ws. BM rocket on his king tar. BM mortar on his half. Because you know, guys, I don't stay calm, guys. I roast everyone. I threw the BM everywhere. Let's go. Easy wins. One spectator. Let's get into the next game. Alright, so we are straight back into another game, playing a level 12 up this high called Got War from Beast Royale. Let's see what we can do right here. We have a pretty decent starting hand. Since it is a princess in the starting hand, I'm going to go ahead and put princess at the bridge. And I'm going to put a mortar right there to counter the hog rider. Going to log all of his goblins back. And then I'm going to put goblins myself onto his hog rider. Right, okay, so this is looking at, it's looking alright. It's not too bad, it's not too bad. But we're going to have to counter his uh, knight right here. We're going to be pretty far behind on Elixir, I do believe, right now. And he did just get a good fireball on our archers. The knight also got one hit in. So this is a pretty even matchup right here in terms of deck uh, orientation. In terms of what kind of cards we have in each other's deck. So it's going to be a pretty tight match, in my opinion. Going to pop a knight down here on the left side. Because that is the side he is going to go with the hog rider. If he is going to go with the hog rider in about, I don't know, two more cards, he will have hog rider in his hand. Okay, so because I dropped the knight on the left side, he might push hog on the... Yes, he is. He's going to push hog on the other lane. Going to go ahead and drop the, uh, drop the goblins down. Killing the uh, hog right there. Sorry about that starter. I was concentrating. Yo, we're going to get some good damage here off with our goblins. That's awesome. Princess also targeting the cannon. It's going to go ahead and target the tar. If he lets that tar go below where the other one is, that'll be detrimental. Never mind. Going to pop our knight down here. And then I'm going to go ahead and pop the fire spirits down to kill the archers as well. Really, really nice play. Solid play by Ferg right here, guys. Solid, solid plays. Let's see. We're going to reach an elixir to 10 elixir. And then we're going to see what he does. If he doesn't play anything, he is going to play something. Getting some good log value there. Then I'm going to go ahead and pop the goblins down. He's probably going to put a cannon down. Yes, he is. Going to pop a knight down so that the cannon actually targets the knight. And this is looking fine and dandy right here. Very, very nice game so, so far. It's a pretty even matchup, I must admit. Going to pop the archer down here. He's probably going to fireball him. Um, going to pop the... Okay, so fortune noob guys, everyone roast me. <laughs> Just did a really, really nibby log there. There's something that you guys could actually roast. I know a lot of you guys are saying, how do I roast you? And stuff like that. You are saying that I'm too good to be roasted. Everything like that. I got too many trophies. But guys, there is a key placement that I just screwed up there with that log. And you can go ahead and roast me on that if you really do desire. So I think this game is going to wrap up as a draw in my opinion. There's not really too much both of us can do. Uh, he's probably going to get a really value fireball on the archers and... Okay, so he's not actually going to go for the fireball. So that is kind of... That's kind of weird. He didn't go for that nice juicy fireball there on the right side. 
So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get mortar shots off in the tar also, which is really, really nice. This is this actually could wrap up pretty damn nicely. Actually, never mind. <laughs> it looks to be something different with that fireball right there. Getting some really nice value for him. Gonna go ahead and pop the fire spirits in here, hoping to kill all of these guys. And then I'm gonna go ahead and log that back, those archers back. Get another hit, yes it does. Then we're going to go ahead and put the princess at the bridge, hoping he doesn't counter it too fast. He's going to go ahead and use an ice spirit right there. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pop another mortar down. Then I'm going to go ahead and pop the goblins down. This is actually going to be really, really dodgy. Oh, and it hit the cannon instead of hitting the tower. That's kind of annoying. Uh, I don't think we have time to rocket cycle, guys. I do not think we do. But, oh no, never mind. I was going to rocket cycle there, but he did just drop another trip. Gonna go ahead and drop the mortar right there. The cog is going back for the mortar. Mortar, get a shot off. No, it did not get a shot off there, guys. Unfortunately, that is gonna be all she wrote, and we are gonna go ahead and draw this game. Gonna go ahead and rocket log his tar to see how low it, we could have actually got it. Yeah, so about 344 left on the tar. That was actually kind of fun, guys. I hope you did enjoy today's video. I did win one, lose one, and draw one. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to smash that like button down below because this was a ton of fun to make. If I see 200 likes, I will continue this on my channel. I know a few of you guys do like it indeed, but a few of you do not want to see it. So we'll see how the comment section goes. We'll see how the likes goes, the views goes. And guys, I really do hope you did enjoy today's video. If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe up and put on notifications to be part of the Ferg fam. Also, if you guys put hashtag Ferg fam in the comment section down below, I will reply to you guys. I reply to absolutely every comment that has hashtag Ferg fam in it. And without further ado, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let's roll the dank meme and roll the outro. Going down, down, and early around. Sugar, we're going down. <laughs>